Before I start, since we are following the strategic management series, both of the strategies I am going to talk about are corporate level strategies. Only the top level managers can make the decision to merge or acquire. Lower level managers just need to accept it. This video is brought to you by me. First of all, mergers and acquisitions are not the same thing. M&A has been said so much that even though they are not the same thing, they are confused to be the same thing. There are reasons why mergers and acquisitions are confusing. That's because sometimes the companies making the decisions deliberately do that. And why do they do that? You'll find soon enough. But first, we will learn what the straightforward definition of mergers and acquisitions are. Merger means two different companies form a new identity. For acquisition, one company, often smaller, gets consumed and does not exist after getting acquired. Let's talk about mergers first. Easy concept. Two companies, almost the same size, join together and turn into a new company. Almost everything about the old companies are still going to exist, but they are going to work under a different name. And a new company stock will be introduced in the market. The biggest example I can think of the top of my head is ExxonMobil. I have to say that if you go on Google and look for the biggest purchase in history, you might find something bigger than this. But this was the most successful one and still exists to this day. The deal was made in 1999, 21 years ago. Now let's talk about acquisition. The textbook explanation would be that a bigger company is going to buy a smaller company for various reasons. And the smaller company will cease to exist and the bigger company will acquire everything they had. Acquisition happens for many reasons. The bigger company might want to get rid of competition. The acquirer might want the assets of the smaller company. They might want it for the people working there. They might need a little help reaching the economies of scale. Whatever. I just said that the name of the company getting acquired is going to cease to exist. Yes, that is the textbook definition. But sometimes, no scratch that, nowadays most of the times companies acquire other companies for the brand value of that name. Let's talk about examples. Amazon acquired Twitch. It is not called Amazon streaming services now. It is still Twitch. Its parent company is Amazon. Similarly, Amazon bought Whole Foods. So, is it called Amazon Foods? No, it is still Whole Foods. You can just get 10% discount on any items if you are an Amazon Prime user. That's it. Another example would be Disney. Disney bought Marvel. Almost everybody knows that Marvel is now a part of Disney. It is called Disney Marvel. But the name Marvel did not get erased, did it? Of course not. Disney most likely bought Marvel because of its already existing avid fan base. Disney also bought some other companies as well. We will get to that later. Now, the thing about the confusion. The general notion of merger and acquisition is that mergers are friendly and acquisitions are forceful. The company getting acquired does not want to get acquired, but the bigger company is much more powerful and buys them out. A purchasing is often classified as merger and acquisition based on whether the deal is hostile or friendly. There is the problem. I talked about the confusion before. This is the confusion. It is very rare for two companies that are pretty much similar getting together and creating a new entity. So, these terms have become interchanged over the years for that reason. 
Bigger companies acquiring smaller companies sometimes say that they are merging together just to give out the impression that it is a very friendly deal. Now, if your professor asks you the question about merger and acquisitions, you can get away with saying that merger is where two company becomes one and takes a new name and acquisition is where one company absorbs the other. On the other hand, if you are facing an interview and this specific question is asked, you can still get away with saying that, but you might need to also say why mergers happen and why acquisitions happen and all that. But if you are a CEO, you have to think about a lot of other things as well. These decisions are one of the biggest decisions of any company at all. So a lot of things have to be decided before going on with this decision. Before acquiring a company, you need to think about the overall image of your company and the overall image of the company you are buying. Disney bought out Pixar animations. The overall image of these two companies do not conflict that much. Everything is still alright. Then Disney bought Marvel. You can say that Marvel and Disney's overall images can clash. You can be partially right. Yeah, I'm not using any clips from Pixar or Marvel movies. I don't want Disney lawyers in my life. Marvel is still not that edgy or violent, but they still have adult theme in their movies. Disney bought Marvel and did not change that much from the movie. They were still very successful. What would happen if Disney just came in and said that these movies are going to be like Mickey Mouse? Oh boy, I don't want any angry fans in my comments. Yes, they are still PG-13, but Marvel was pretty much PG-13 before the acquisition. If Disney decided to change a lot of the aspects of the franchise that is Marvel, they would be risking the millions of fans of these beloved characters. That's the risk. You have to look at it both ways. You cannot always change everything about the company you are acquiring. That's not how it works all the time. But you also have to keep in mind that the company you are acquiring might not stand upright to your value of how you were running your company. Oh, and they also acquired Lucasfilms. That's where I'm going to end it. Mergers and Acquisitions Do you understand? If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you have the comment section below. My regular viewers know that this is not the end of this video. We still have bonus content left. For bonus today, I'd like to talk about the biggest acquisitions of Disney over the years. Not all of the acquisitions, the biggest ones and the most recognizable ones. So, here we go. They acquired Miramax, Miramax Films for $60 million in 1993. Then they acquired Capital Cities, ABC and ESPN all together. I only have the logo of ABC over here. But they acquired Capital Cities, ABC and ESPN together for $19 billion in 1995. Then they acquired Pixar Animations for $7.4 billion in 2006. After that, they bought Marvel for $4 billion in 2009. And then in 2012, they bought Lucas Films for $4 billion. And the biggest one ever is 21st Century Fox for $71.3 billion in 2019. That was their biggest acquisition. If you analyze the numbers, you can see how big these companies are. 
and after acquiring them how big Disney has become and by the way this video is not sponsored by Disney they have the most recognizable acquisitions over the years that's why most of the examples were from Disney and with that I am proud to say that I have followed through with my plan to complete a series on the topic of strategic management that's because I have planned it out and I followed through it it took a long time but I did it you might comment below on what I have missed after checking out my playlist on strategic management but I have covered almost everything that was taught in my undergraduate course thank you for watching thank you very very much and one more thing I have said before that after I am finished with all of the videos I am going to combine them and release them as one long video about that I recently found out that if I do that there is a very good chance that my YouTube channel will be in danger by being flagged as repetitious uploader so for the full course of strategic management you are going to have to watch the playlist do not worry because I will try to do what I did with the project management course that is condense the concept of strategic management in really short ideas and make a new video it might not fit under 10 minutes though anyway that was the video thank you for watching you can like comment share subscribe donate directly on patreon for supporting me and lastly I hope you learned something new today. Bye bye for now.